Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video, welcome to my garage. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your AEM Infinity out of the box and connect your laptop to it for the very first time. So your ECU doesn't have to be installed for this. You can you could do this on the bench. You do need to have your <clears throat> permanent battery power connected to it. You have to have grounds connected to it and you have to have your ignition wire connected to it. But that's it. You don't have to have any of the sensors or anything like that connected to it um, to get started. All you need to do is be able to give it power and then you need to have the ignition wire so that it knows when you're telling it you want it to run. But I've got a little mounting location for mine here so I'm going to bolt it in place and I'm working on my wiring harness but I don't have any sensors wired in yet well I have the accelerator pedal wired in but that's the only thing I've wired in so alright so I've got my ECU here I've got my plug and remember although I've got a couple extra things on here the only thing you need is battery permanent power, ignition, and ground to get started. And then you can, you'll can you plug your computer in here, although I'm using an extension cable so that I can have my laptop all the way over on the workbench. Now the next thing you need to do is go to aeminfinity.com and click on register here. You need to register your ECU. When you register that ECU, fill out all of that information, they're gonna give you a file. They might, they might give you a couple of files. Uh, there's probably gonna be a universal file, and depending on what information you give it, they might give you a file that's more specific for your vehicle. Pick whichever. If there's one that's real specific for your vehicle, by all means, grab it. Mine is a real custom. So mine just had a, a very universal, I think they called it Universal 506 or something like that. Um, download the one that you want. Go ahead and download it. Um, that's the file that you're going to use for the firmware the first time you tap into your ECU. And also, if you haven't done it yet, go to aemelectronics.com and download the Infinity Tuner software. That's the software that's going to be the portal for looking in on your ECU. So download that. And if you're if you're just downloading that now, then once you download it, stop this video and play around with the software just to get somewhat acclimated with it. Now when you open up Infinity Tuner for the very first time, this is what it's gonna look like. It should say not connected. There's nothing connected to it yet. And the very first thing you need to do is open up a layout. It might open up and immediately ask you to open up a layout. I'm not sure. It might just give you a blank screen like that. Either way, if it takes you right to the screen, then go ahead and load your layout. If not, go up here to where it says layout. Go to open layout. And then I'm gonna back up here a little bit. If you go here to layouts, um, there's a couple of layouts to, to start with here. And I just went to the newest, version 96.5. That's the newest one on here. I'll open that. And then I went to all tabs 506 because my Infinity is the Infinity 506. If you have one of the other Infinities, I would open up the all tabs for that. Uh, so I'm gonna open up I'm gonna open up all tabs 506. I'm actually gonna open up Ratchet Revision 1 because that's mine, but that is all tabs 506. I just renamed it. So I'm gonna open up Ratchet. All right, now that's opening up and what that does is that tells the layouts basically what channels you're gonna be using and it, it just gives it um, some structure as to how to look into the ECU. So to turn on my ECU, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna turn on my battery that just turns the battery, the permanent battery power on to the ECU. And then I've got my ignition switch here and I'll watch my screen to know when my ECU has come up. So I turn that on. Digital Dash goes through its little startup screen. And then boom, there we go. Now my ECU is on and it's ready to go, but I still have not connected the USB to the laptop yet. All right, now we've got our ECU battery power and the ignition power is on, so we're gonna plug in the USB. All 
All right, now you can see you're plugged in. Now you've got some information. I uh, Mine is giving more information than yours because I have already logged into mine and I've already downloaded the firmware. So um, I don't wanna back up because I don't wanna delete what I have on here, but let me, let me show you what you gotta do. Because I think yours will be saying um, something like blank ECU or no data or something like that, where mine says USB Infinity Series 5. So what you have to do at this point is you have to download the firmware that you grabbed when you registered your product. You have to load that onto the ECU. Right now it doesn't know what it is. You need to give it that information. The way you're gonna do that is you go into ECU and click on upgrade firmware. First thing it's gonna do is say the ECU will stop running. Basically means it's not gonna run the engine. That's not a problem for us. So go ahead and click yes. I'm not gonna go any farther than this with mine, but just follow the steps. It's going to take you through step one of the firmware update. So go ahead and pick your file, pick the one that you got when you registered your product, tell it to go and upload it. When it's done, when it tells you that it has successfully finished phase one or step one, and it can tell you, it'll tell you it can close the window, then go ahead and close the window and then turn off your ECU. So turn off your ECU. Usually takes it about five seconds to shut down. Mine just shut down. And then I usually wait about 30 seconds. Okay, I've waited about 30 seconds. I'm gonna turn my ignition back on. It should identify. Everything's starting up, I can hear the relay click. Now, up in the corner, mine says USB Infinity Series 5. Yours should be reflecting whatever firmware you uploaded on it. Hopefully, I hope everything worked for you. At this point, you're good to go. Now you can browse all these tabs and you can start looking at things and figuring out what you wanna do, getting acclimated. And one thing I highly suggest you do is go into Wizards and play around with that because that's where you're gonna that's where you're gonna set up most of your information. That's where you're gonna tell it what sensors you have, things like that. So the first things that you're gonna be dealing with is this wizard. So start start um, start playing around with that, getting used to it, and start wiring up your sensors. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that worked. I was just trying to basically show you that when you plug in, the first thing you do is download that firmware. It actually took me a little bit to figure that out. I don't know, going through the instructions and everything, it was just kind of hard for me to, to figure that out. So hopefully you're now logged into your ECU and you can start uh, getting used to it while you're hooking up your sensors. I will have a video once I get to the point where I'm hooking up some sensors so I can show you how I wired those up and how I tell the ECU what sensors they are. And I'm also gonna have a video on hooking up the CD5 digital dash and telling it what I wanna look at on the Infinity. So hopefully these videos are helping you a little bit and hopefully I see you on the next one. Take care.